Hey everyone, welcome to Tabletop Giant. Uh, we're going to have another video here opening up a draft booster. Uh, remember to check out our sponsor channel, uh, MTG North is the YouTube channel. We open boxes there as well. Uh, so let's get into this. There's a lot of draft boosters. Um, we had some pretty big hits. Uh, we just opened the film, the video for the MTG North. I got the uh, alt art uh, Soren. Uh, foil and with a vampire frame a little over $200 so we had a nice big hit there watch it to enjoy it so draft boosters in this set do have box toppers so we'll save the box topper uh, till halfway through uh, we'll open it up for you guys let's see if we get another big hit all these cards will be for sale on our website www.tabletopgiant.ca uh, and there's our pre-release kits uh, you can also grab them there, play at your local LGS, or have some fun on tabletop in your kitchen with your buddies if you want to run your own pre-release. And here we go. So let's uh, see how we do. So we kind of gotten to know some of the bigger hits now in the set. Dying to Serve was one of the big hits. Yeah, that one's worth a little bit. I'm going to go through these quick. We're just going to get the big hits, okay? Set aside the commons and uncommons. And uh, just watch the big hits. We'll focus on that. Because there's a lot of videos. I'm sure you guys are watching a box opening. So uh, we'll try and condense it for you. Syncopate in foil. Blue uh, players love their foil. Olivia's Attendance. Not huge, but uh, that's our rare. Uncommons and commons. Put those aside. So yeah, how's everyone doing? Thanks for the comments on our last video. Love to respond to uh, viewers' comments. Let me know if you need anything or notice anything. There's a journal. That guy's pretty panicked. A panicked bystander. Indeed he is. Uh, so some uncommons. Some of these, uh, so there's the vampire treatment. It has the fangs on the top. So that's the showcase uh, art treatment. Uh, some of them seem to be pulling a lot of money. So. Uh, Keep those aside for yourself when you pull them, guys. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the commons because I'm sure you guys want to see the big hits. It takes a lot more time to kind of go through it slow. There's a spirit token. There's those nice, if the camera can get it on the sharp angle, there's the kind of raised lands. Very, very nice looking good. Uh, an oddity. We opened him on the last video. Turns into a giant moose bear with a with a belly full of teeth. Uh, Hero's downfall. I'm pretty sure that's a reprint. That was from uh, the Theros block, if I'm not mistaken. Some uncommons and commons. Spirits making a big uh, comeback here too. Lots of spirit tribal in this set. Old Rustein, a human peasant. Nice looking. Put our commons and uncommons away. This commons pile is going to get big pretty fast. So yeah, comment below if you see any of the big hits you're interested in. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, I thought I read, oh there's an interesting copy token. Uh, there was a card that gives all zombies flying. Haven't seen him yet, so. There's our first mythic in this pack, Volatile Arsonist. Turns into a Dire Strain Arcanist. A Menace Haste Werewolf. Whenever it attacks, two damage to our creature. Or Planeswalker. Or player. I wonder why it doesn't say any target. It sounds like any target. So this set's very strong. Everybody loves their Vampire Tribal. Some people, to a lesser degree, love the Werewolf Tribal. Um, it's doing well. Oh, very nice. There's a foil, full art land, showcase, sundown pass. So we've got our slow check lands there. Looking, uh, it'll enter tapped unless I have two or more lands. So those will come in untapped. In my last video, I suggested the opposite. So there's a correction on what those do. I'm not sure if there's commons or uncommons in this set outside of showcase frames that are worth a lot. I'll have to check. But for now, we're just going to kind of focus on the rares and mythics for you guys. So no planeswalkers, no huge hits yet. 
We'll keep hammering away here for you. A bloody betrayal in foil. There's Runo uh, Stormkirk. Uh, we got him on our last box we opened. He's the Lord of the Deep. There's our uncommons and our commons. I think there's a wedding ring I haven't seen yet. That'll be a hit. Let's hope we get a wedding ring, guys. That'll be one of the cards I haven't seen yet, and I'm going to play white uh, in Magic, so that'd be good to see. Yeah, that raised etched border. Beautiful on those cards. Voice of the Blessed, very nice hit. Put our uncommons and commons away. So we're hoping for a wedding ring. I think I've got everything else I wanted, so anything else will be a nice surprise. Uh, Blood Vial Purveyor in foil. Very nice. A lot of people are kind of saying the uh, the blood tokens aren't really that big of a bang. So uh, what do you guys think in the comments? Is it worth uh, these blood tokens? Cost too much, apparently, people are saying. Hey, there's Chandra's Dress to Kill. Her emblem. Nice. Keep that aside. Their island. They're soaring, guys. Haven't got this his normal treatment yet. He's pretty chill. Just hanging out. Very beautiful. We'll put him up there. All right, what else we got? Some uncommons. Sorry, I don't mean to rush through it, but I know your guys' time is valuable, so we're focusing on the big hits here. Uh, anything you guys want to see in our videos, just let me know. There's another Thalia. I think that's our third one. Great looking card. Playing white. I have her. Catapult fodder. <laughs> Are those like zombie trolls, but maybe they're just regular zombies. Look at the old man zombie. He's ready to go. Oh, and then there's a catapult captain. I think that might be a cyclops zombie. See, only got one eye. Cool. Magic. Some of the artwork uh, oh, delivers in every set. It's a fun part of it. Everybody likes the hobby for different reasons. I love the flavor text. I love the art. Lots of reasons to collect. Wow, there we go, guys. A Dream Root Cascade. Full art. Foil. Looking good. Another Runo. We got him. So there's a nice pack. And a rare and a rare full art in foil. Okay, we're almost halfway through. We're going to pop our box topper soon. So uh, we won't wait till the end. We won't torch you. Wow, a dollhouse of horrors in foil. I said in our last video, I. I didn't get to read the article, but there's some sort of infinite combo or very strong combo with that card. I could be wrong. And there's a Forebearer. Falcon Wrath. There's the Kitty Cat in the set. Spirit Cat. I think it turns into an aura or something when he flips. The Day-Night mechanic can be confusing. There's another Purveyor. But super important for uh, werewolves and other cards. Uh, oh, there's a zombie token. Breaking the stained glass. That's a nice one. Actually haven't seen too many zombie tokens. Dominating Vampire. Not one of the better hits in the set. She's not worth a lot. I was just adding them to our store. I think she was two bucks or something. Oh, and a human server. Has he got... Oh, I thought he had guards on. Well, he almost does. No one can bite him on the neck. He's got like a special. <laughs> Maybe so his master gets to keep him. No one can steal him. Dig up. There we go. Nice for fetching. And they have that new mechanic, uh, the cleave effect. So it removes uh, items in brackets. You get more with the cleave. If you can do it for less, but you don't get the item in the brackets, I think is the way it works. Another zombie token, a foil Griff Rider, 
a forest and a headless rider. This guy's nice. I love the artwork on this. Whenever him or another non-zombie dies, you get a 2-2 zombie. Man, there's going to be so much zombie trial, uh, tribal, vampire tribal. Okay, guys, we're going to open two more packs and we're on to our box topper. We're getting uh, close. Hope you enjoy the video. Love to see some new subscribers joining us. And uh, if you need anything, oh, this treasure has an eyeball. Um, yeah, let us know what you like on the videos. You can shop on our website. I don't think I've seen Catilda yet. A spirit warlock. Spirit tribal. That looks nice. There's the groom's finery. Keeps everything by his uh, bed there. His coffin he sleeps in. Okay, here it is, one more. Then we're gonna open up our box topper. I hope I don't get a triple shaft. I've got two uncommon box toppers so far. So let's hope for a bigger, better one. There's a, we've been seeing lots of the, the blood uh, tokens. They're a very nice, strong, strong white card. Savior of Olenbach. Looking for a full art of that. It's a beautiful card. Very playable in white. There's our spirit. Okay, guys. So the box topper comes with its own little cardboard thing. Little poster. You can put uh, wherever you like. Okay. So let's get this off carefully. All right, guys. Cross your fingers. A bit of rub it for good luck. Got to get into this without wrecking it. There we go, we're broker. All right, get that out of the way. Mina, which is Thalia Garden of Nice. So there we go, after our two bad hits. Very beautiful looking card. We'll put it right there. Wow. I'm happy. I play her in my uh, modern, I have a modern human deck. Uh, that'll be going in there probably. I might put it online for sale. Uh, check us out. You can see if it's there, if you're interested in it. So Grizzly Ritual in foil. Alchemist Gambit in red. Oop. Those in the wrong pile. All right, we'll keep hammering along. I'm very happy with Mina there. Looks beautiful. Olivia, Crimson Bride. I think this is my first uh, showcase Fang version. <laughs> it's funny. This set has us trained to flip cards and check the back. Got to check better for those uh, moon and sun tokens. Or not tokens, but the identifier in the top left there. So it has day bound and night bound. Blood Petal Celebrant Showcase Foil. Very dark. Splendid Reclamation. I believe that's another green fetch. Okay, guys, we're over halfway uh, through. And uh, we got one pile left. Wolf Rider. Third or fourth one I've seen of that. Nice card. Eruth, Tormented Prophet. Hmm, weird artwork on this one. It's very, very dull or confusing. I'm not sure what the right word is, but uh, so much going on, seems to get lost in there. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we open up new sets all the time. We're into other collectible hobbies too. Ooh, there's a blue mythic. Cemetery Illuminator, a mythic spirit. Get to peek at the top card of your library at any time. 
And once per turn you can cast a spell from the top of my library. If it shares a card type that this uh, removed, that'll be worth a bit. There's the panicked bystander again. He's afraid of vampires. What do we got? We got about uh, 10 packs left here. I'll try to hammer through them. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having fun. Dollhouse of Horrors is our rare. Uncommons go there. See if we get another nice showcase and foil. Big money. Arm the Cathars. Cathars. Hamlet Vanguard is our rare. I do like Human Tribal, I think, the, uh, of the best of the tribes present in this set. There's a Summons, a Sagrada Summons. Um, but I've played uh, Zombies before too, never really got into Vampires too much. I had Spirit with Kaya. Oh, there's the clock. Congratulations. Must be the top of the hour. Inset token, which is weird because the beekeeper is making these. It should have been bees, but oh well. Lantern Flare. Lots of uh, nice white cards in this set. Going to help us out, us white players, whoever likes to play in white. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Thanks for watching, if you're still with us. I know we're all excited for the new set. There's a nice Dream Root Cascade. Regular presentation in foil. Oh, there you go. A double. Same thing twice. One foil, one non-foil. Put these over here. Okay, guys. Both four packs left after this. Five left, including this pack. We'll get through it. Wow, a Soul Cipher board. Nice foil flip. It's always nice to get a two-sided foil. Audric. Oh, haven't seen him yet. Good old Audric. Like like the white Audric does. Uh, or X is the number of abilities. So not going to create X blood tokens. Cool. So these, so we haven't seen too many. So these showcase even non-foil, uh, rare or, or uncommon, mythic. This particular showcase, I haven't. You don't see a lot of them, so they all seem to be fetching a little bit of money. So uh, take care of those uh, Fang uh, showcase. They seem to be doing well fi uh, finance-wise. Uh, the alt art, mirror hall mimic is our rare. Harvester. Now, mind you, the set isn't out yet, so the prices uh, do, do are a little bit high, and every set does that same thing. Tend to ride a little bit high. Crawling Infestation is our uh, foil. Overcharged Amaglan. An Undead Butler. Let's wonder if he makes a cameo in the Dying to Serve. I'm going to look at that later and see if they did a crossover. Is it the same artist? Different artists, but uh, sometimes they have fun and, and do stuff like that. You'll see the art carry over. It only makes sense in that uh, example. That'll be fun to check later. Uh, sorry, we'll put that aside. Second last pack. Here we go, guys. We'll rub the last pack for good luck. Get some good juju going. Wow, I think I've got all the Thalia presentations now. The Showcase, Non-Fang, that's not foil, but uh, beautiful card. Put her there. It's in our rare slot. Okay, guys, last pack. I think Thalia probably did it for us. But who knows, if we get lucky, anything can happen. That's what's great about the hobby and collecting. It's lots of fun. Uh, Voldoran Estate I haven't seen yet. So that's probably the one that's Dracula's Castle uh, in the showcase, the alt one. Uh, so that's our first estate. Got our uncommons. All right, guys, we did it. So thanks for watching. 
We'll give you a little hit parade here. Hope everyone has fun at pre-release and opening packs. Enjoy the hobby. Keep on collecting. And thanks for watching. We got you at 20 minutes. www.tabletopgiant.ca. We'd love to have you. Thanks.